Assalamualaikum students. You are watching the channel Educo. Uh, we are studying uh, the topic concept and history of rhetoric. First of all, we have uh, understood its uh, introduction and the concept of rhetoric. What is it? And then we have uh, studied in detail its historical uh, uh, development. Uh, that how as a branch of study or uh, as a uh, subject of study it has evolved over the um, uh, time period and then we had uh, discussed uh, the, its branches or the division of rhetoric according to its use in different uh, areas different situations circumstances and according to different purposes uh, now, in this lecture, we are further continuing uh, uh, this concept of rhetoric uh, and here we are going uh, to explain the canons of rhetoric, that how rhetoric uh, can be established or what different type of elements are included in producing your uh, speeches persuasive or in the form of rhetoric. First of all, it is about invention or the invention. It is to discover the available means of persuasion. Uh, it means that when a speaker uh, uh, wants to deliver a speech or make a speech, uh, he must have uh, he must have to do some preliminary research or the brainstorming. Uh, and uh, to think about uh, all possible means of persuasion how can he generate the ideas that he could use in his speech or writing or in what uh, in which context uh, he should have used those information and uh, who uh, is his audience uh, to whom he is going to deliver a speech or for whom he is going to write uh, a speech. So, all these preliminary researches uh, uh, included uh, in the section invention or invention. Methods of uh, invention include audience analysis, topic selection, develop a purpose and thesis, main idea and sporting details and research. The second step is uh, arrangement or disposition. It means that uh, we have uh, brainstormed uh, uh, and uh, made our preliminary research and gathered all possible informations uh, about uh, the establishment of rhetoric or persuasion. Now, in what order or in what structure we are going to organize those details that is uh, uh, arrangement uh, involves the structuring or organizing ideas to convey message effectively to an audience the speaker or the writer needs to order or organize ideas so that they are clear and measurable methods of arrangement include Basic order, uh, it uh, means uh, uh, which uh, uh, order uh, um, uh, constitutes the structure of uh, um, paragraph or the essay and uh, it has uh, the first introductory part and the main body or the portion where we discuss those uh, ideas with our arguments and finally we conclude our arguments. And another is the organizational pattern. It includes different uh, uh, um, uh, patterns, uh, for example, problem and solution. Uh, it means that the speaker first uh, put forward uh, a specific problem or issue or crisis before his audience. And then he, with the use of his arguments or exploitation of his knowledge, uh, convince his audience towards the solution of that problem or the issue. Cause and effect, compare and contrast, sequence, main idea and the supporting details. These are also other patterns uh, which are often being used. The third element is the style or elocution. Uh, it is to represent, uh, it is to present the argument 
cogently and artistically that is choice of language that will best express the speaker or writer's ideas to the audience methods of style range from plain and matter of fact to the ornamental or formal these styles determine the choice of vocabulary that is unusual vocabulary with the audience uh, are not uh, familiar about or which is not uh, traditionally that is often being used and common level of vocabulary or the familiar <clears throat> the complexity of syntax and the use of relatively obscure versus transparent figures and the next element uh, is about the memory or memoria it is the work that speakers or the writers do to remain in command of their material when they present or write a speech or writing memory or memoria has uh, two aspects first aspect is about the memorization or how to retain the information in your mind or memory its second aspect of the element of memoria belongs to the uh, presentation of uh, memorized facts or information according to the use or the situation methods of memory include mnemonics composing notes presentation aids practicing and rehearsing the uh next element uh, about the canons of uh, rhetoric is delivery or axio it is the use of voice gesture text images appropriate to the situation and effective for the goal it means uh, it includes the actual or practical delivery of the information uh, while delivering the speech methods of delivery include extemporaneous that is well prepared but sounds natural and conversational vocal and verbal presentation non verbal presentation memoria and exio apply only to the oral discourse whereas inventio dispositio and elocutio apply to both the written and the oral now we have uh, uh, to the aristotle's rhetorical triangle uh, it uh, explains the interrelationship of the various factors that are involved in uh, delivering or making the rhetorical speech or the uh, persuasive speech uh, first of all if we uh, look around the central small triangle uh, it uh, is uh, about the purpose it means that what is your aim or goal for creating this message that why we want to deliver a speech what is the intention behind making a speech or persuading the people or uh, uh, establishing the rhetoric uh, because purpose defines uh, our Uh, coming course of action or the direction in which we uh, organize collect uh, and then use or deliver those informations or our message and then if we call uh, the uh, uh, circle and the larger triangle if we see uh, the the space between uh, boundary of the circle and the larger triangle it uh, describes the context in which context we are going to deliver that particular speech or writing that content so the circumstances that form the setting for an event statement idea and in terms that it can be fully understood and uh, assessed now there are three pillars uh, uh, in aristotle's triangles first of all it is the speaker which he termed as ethos uh, that uh, uh, who is the speaker about his personality his credibility his knowledge his worth his trustworthiness 
so this is called that the creator of the message positions her or himself as the one who has the knowledge is fair in presentation that is it means it's his credibility about then uh, the message that the speaker uh, deliver his message or convey his message which he termed as logos and it is uh, about the actual message the speaker is giving uh, and uh, the characteristics uh, about that message uh, must include that is this message logical is it presented factual credible information is the message clear and specific organized in a logical well reasoned manner and the third uh, element uh, includes the audience or the pathos who are you addressing what level of their understanding or education or learning is what are their concerns values beliefs how can you appeal to their emotions and imagination how can you move the audience to care about your uh, message in this way if we uh, try to understand the diagrammatic concept in this rhetorical triangle uh, it is clear that uh, speaker uh, is directly related to the selection of the message and selection of message is directly related to the audience and similarly audience also affects the speaker uh, and uh, uh, the audience is affected by the message also and all these depend on the context and the purpose ethos uh, the ethical appeal and attempt to persuade based on moral grounds that is the person delivering the message has to credible has to be credible that is trusted liked knowledgeable example as a doctor i am qualified to tell you that this course of treatment will likely to generate best results because the qualification of doctor is uh, creates his credibility and trustworthiness logos an appeal to logic and attempt to persuade the reader by presenting a logical argument for example research conducted by FIA and other institutions suggest that the accused is found guilty that is it is argument based reason or logic based that the particular agency investigative agency uh, has the capability resources and uh, goals to uh, found out the criminal or the guilty and the third is pathos an appeal to the emotions an attempt to persuade the reader by causing them to respond to the way an issue or topic makes them feel examples you should consider another route i heard that that street is for more dangerous at night now now comes uh, the explanation of some radical devices and their impacts uh, which are used by the speakers or the writers in their speeches and the writings first of all it is uh, necessary to define what is a rhetorical device a rhetorical device is a technique that an author or speaker uses with the goal of persuading the reader or the listener to consider a topic from a different point of view different perspective and take the writers or the speaker's position or even to take action alliteration it is a sonic device and uh, it is the repetition of the initial sound of each word and its functions or impacts are <clears throat> it creates emphasis and uh, emphasize the urgency static formulation and intensification of the arguments or ideas or concepts for example a famous quote by julius caesar veni vidi visi uh, and i came i saw i conquered the second device is anaphora it is the repetition of the certain words or phrases at the beginning of his sentences to increase the power of and its uh, 
uh, how it is used why it is used in order to create the power of a sentiment accentuate and emphasize of something convincing the listener dramatization example of Anna Freud is the famous quote by Martin Luther King Jr.'s repetitive phrase I have a dream I have a dream further is onomatopoeia it is also a sonic device refers to a word that emulates the real life sound it signifies serve the function of aesthetics and tuneful formation for example using the word bang to signify an explosion hyperbole it is an exaggerated statement that conveys emotion and raises the bar for other speakers and it creates dramatization shock effect exaggerates a normal issue example my idea is going to the world Anna deploys it is the use of the same word at the end of one sentence and at the beginning of the subsequent sentence forming a chain of thought that carries your audience to the point you have chosen for example fear leads to anger anger leads to hate hate leads to suffering some other devices are radical questions allusions parallelism radical analysis now we have come to the last part of our lecture radical analysis uh, using the jolly framework design radical situation radical situation includes exigence that is about problem incident or situation causing the writer to write the piece uh, that is uh, what is the problem that uh, uh, that has forced the writer or the speaker to talk about or what particular incident or the situation cause the writer to write a piece audience an audience has either an immediate uh, or intermediate response in this way the audience shapes the rhetoric purpose the author considers the purpose of the writing about what the audience feels uh, appeals appeals include uh, we have also uh, talked about uh, earlier uh, logos an appeal to the logic ethos the ethical appeal pathos an appeal to the emotion what is tone the writers or speakers attitude towards a subject character or audience conveyed through the author's diction uh, choice of the words syntax uh, the selection or the creation of the sentences details imagery uh, and figurative lo language logos ethos and pathos all contribute to determining the tone uh, if tone of the piece is not recognized everything that follows may be missed organization of the structure or the form of the speech or writing it is about the shifts in tone other elements cannot be identified if it is not to look at it chronologically surface features uh, surface features uh, of the speech or the writing includes diction syntax imagery figurative language syntactical elements and multisyllabic term so uh, the students uh, here this is the complete uh, lecture about the rhetoric we have uh, discussed in detail uh, the understanding and concept of rhetoric what is it and its historical development from where uh, this concept has uh, started evolved uh, and established uh, as a separate field of study or the subject of the study and uh, what are its elements uh, uh, divisions or uh, classification uh, different radical devices and uh, uh, 
uh, at the end uh, how uh, can we analyze a piece of writing or a speech uh, uh, about the persuasive or rhetorical point of view keep watching uh, the channel educore uh, subscribe the channel also uh, in order to have uh, further uh, informative and interesting lectures on different subjects of the study.